Alright, welcome back to another video. Possibly, is this my first video, first vlog of 2021? Who knows? Anyway, I was going back through some of the old footage and um, thought probably should do some sort of recap. Uh, only crack thing is, is I really only started doing this vlog stuff in the last six months, so didn't really get anything good beforehand. I did put get some sort of GoPro footage in that here and there, but nothing too in depth. Uh, but fuck, where do we start? Um, 2020. So from the f first of the first 2020, I was in Canberra, Australia, for Summit at 33. Now, how epic was that? I was with the boys, um, we were f fighting fire as fuck. So the first day that we, we left on New Year's Eve and we literally uh, were traveling for like 24 hours um, by the time we got to Canberra. We got stuck on the motorway or highway, whatever they call it in Australia, for over three hours because of the fires, um, had cut the motorway off. So we were, we were sort of um, stuck there and then by the time that sort of three hours was up, the fires started coming up from the rear. Uh, we literally just watched the fires come straight at us. Uh, by that time they'd got the front fires out so we were able to move on. It was crazy. Uh, looking forward to now, we're still going through bullshit. It's just it's a COVID flu or whatever the hell this shit is. Um, so, uh, it's poor old Australia. Bushfires, COVID, oh mate, that is, they're, in, they're in a rough patch. But uh, 2020, kicking off cruising Summonets uh, 33. Cruising around is um, is just a whole nother level. I mean, the cars are just epic. If you're a, if you're a petrol head, you have to go to Summonats at least once in your life. It's like the biggest horsepower festival in the world. The cars blow your minds, um, and to be part of that, it was pretty cool. Cruising around, um, yeah, it's not really any it's other words to explain it apart from epic. Um, and then uh, Skid Row, how crazy was that? So I think on the first day we got to set off down Skid Row for a bit of fun and then um, I was hooked. I, I think I smashed about four or five sets on Skid Row over the whole time. <laughs> Biggest highlight though was uh, the first skid, my practice squid skid. So I, my, you know, I booked in a practice skid. They say, "Yep, sweet, this is your allocated time slot," which was uh, 4 p.m. I think. And uh, I was waiting, 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 and then they're like, "Oh, the kit, skids kick off at four o'clock." So my practice skid 
was the skid that opened Summon Oaks 33. Man, <laughs> what an experience. What an experience. forward to the master skid on the Saturday was just night and day difference so on the so I was first skid out um, 4 p.m. no rubber on the pad average temperature fast forward to the Saturday um, pad was like 70 degrees and it had how many sets of tires destroyed on it and I just had brain fade uh, hit the wall caught on fire thought I'd failed to be honest but um, it's just an experience experience and I think it makes me want to get back there again um, to actually do a decent skid on the summer nats burnout pad um, yeah I met so many cool people um, from that summer nats so many cool Aussies um, yeah I literally can't wait to get back over there and I'd definitely be over at a, an event at some stage um, apart from if it wasn't for this COVID flu. So uh, we'll see what happens. Can't see it happening anytime soon, but maybe towards the end of the year. Uh, so once, uh, after the finals of Burnout Masters, pretty much some, the whole summer that's just empties out. We loaded up the trailer, got the car on, went out for a few drinks with the boys, got a bit of an early night and then we uh, headed back to Sydney at maybe 4 in the morning um, loaded the container and um, sent the car straight to Christchurch for Muscle Car Madness now by the time you watch this video hopefully I'm on the road as we speak going to Muscle Car Madness fingers crossed my car's ready we like well I'm two days out from leaving and uh, the car still hasn't been fired or been on the dyno so see what happens fingers crossed we make it um muscar madness is just one of those unique car shows four days of um cars like-minded people muscle cars creations oh you'll see in some of my videos and hopefully if you carry on watching my videos um i'll have some videos from muscle car madness out over the next week or so good thing about Muscar Madness is it's old school it hasn't got that PC bullshit that is attached to every other event around New Zealand um, and uh, 
but who knows, it's been running for 31, this is the 31st year and it, the PC madness hasn't caught up, so hopefully it stays that way. Um, after Mastercard Madness, uh, we came back to Wellington. Um, I got the car all tidied up and everything because after hitting the wall of Southern Ants, it was a bit of a mess. And then we did, uh, we went to a meat stock, did a car show and whatnot. Um, but then the next cool event was Chrome Expression Session, which was in Christchurch. So we're going back down south again. And uh, along the way, halfway between Christchurch and Picton, there's a place called Kaikoura. Now, just outside of Kaikoura, there's a old uh, go-kart track that um, pretty much you can just go down and jump on the track and have a few, I don't know, drifts if that's what you want to call it. Now, people use this track all the time. I just, it's crazy to think that if it was here in Wellington, it would have been shut down, dug up, because people just can't, uh, I don't know, control themselves in Wellington or anywhere else, but it seems to work in Kaikoura and they've got a good thing going. I see everyone goes there. Um, but yeah, we uh, we unloaded the cars and, and um, decided to have a jam. It was a bit of fun, real tight, real rutty, but um, uh, it was a bit of experience and very cool. It's got some cool footage from there. <laughs> And then we headed down to Chrome Expression Session, uh, three day event, we were, I was one of the feature cars, uh, so we just, I just tore it up all weekend basically, we took heaps of people for rides, I actually got out on the uh, drift circuit, spent heaps of time out trying to drift, um, and that was heaps of fun. Another cool thing was, uh, so Nutout was chosen to be put in the official Summonats Burnout Masters game. Um, uh, pretty epic for me, I'm the only New Zealand car, uh, and there's not even a lot, hell of a lot of Aussie cars in there, you know, so, and it's very, you know, such a downloaded car as well, uh, so thanks to you guys for downloading that car. Uh, we actually get a proportion of the sale from that, so thanks guys, it all helps for us. have all had a jam on that. Uh, another, another big thing for us in 2020 uh, was finally able to purchase an XA Coupe. I've been trying to get one of these for quite some time. When I was a young fella I had an XB Coupe. Um, had no motor in it. Uh, sort of, I got it in a deal with something else. I think I was like 16 or 17 at the time and it sat outside at these, at these lockups that we had for a while. And, um, Someone came along at the time and swapped me, I think it was a 96 Triple S Bluebird and I was like, fuck yeah, this is the bee's knees! Because uh, it was quite late model at the time. But, um, oh, imagine what it would be worth if I'd kept the coupe. Anyway, you can't think about that. So we've got it, we've finally got the XA, so thanks to Liz and Ryan for um, letting us buy this. And it's not just any old XA coupe, it's Mayhem. And it's, uh, she's a pretty badass piece of machinery and uh, makes a lot of people cry because it's got a Chevy in it.
bit of a 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 uh, another cool thing we did was with the Wellington Triumph Car Club down in my pub, the Fitzroy Tavern. We had like a bit of a motorcana, and obviously part of the conditions was I got to enter and uh, just ripped up the pub car park. <laughs> it was a bit of fun. <laughs> What else? We've got uh, Aussie Assault. So Aussie Assault's run by Choice Events. This, uh, this is, we've had three so far. I've been to all three. Uh, actually, I think the second one was my first ever burnout comp win. Aussie Assault 2. Uh, Aussie Assault 3, 2020. Fucking epic. Uh, Aussie Assault is basically just based around Aussie produced cars. And it's a cool event with plenty of track time and you're around like-minded people and you can just go out there and just have a hell of a lot of fun. Um, I pretty much just drove all day, went through every drop of fuel that I had and um, came away with the Drift King Award, the Limiter Legend Award and actually the Aussie Ace. So that's the overall, that's the biggest award there and I was very, very happy about that. Um, so, wicked event and to get the, the biggest award, ah, couldn't be happier. Oh, oh. Um, uh, so actually, and on the other side of that, uh, ended the life of nothing out of Elsie's as well, because we ended up bending a couple of rods. 
Uh, so that's been about four or five months off the road. We hope to get it back in action in the next two days because we're heading to Muscle Car Madness. Did the old uh, Power Fest at the Tavern. So that's like the car show that I run every year now, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, got right, it was pissing down, well, half the cars pulled out, all the comp cars pulled out, drift cars pulled out. But we still managed to have an awesome day and had a shitload of people come through. We sold a shitload of merch. Uh, we did some drift demos, did a burnout demo, and just had a, just had a real choice day. Um, so I was stoked with that. Thanks to everyone that came to that. Um, Gee, he's out of control. So first up, who we got? Jump up on the tray, brother. Oh, is that your son? Looks like you. <laughs> oh, what's your name? Aiden. Sure, I saw you here last oh, year too. Yeah, what happened right. last year? Reigning champ for the dirtiest mullet. Oh, Let's go. Fair <laughs> the mum's gonna be proud. Yeah, yeah. Alright, give us a twelve. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Any last words? Yeah, I just want to say I cut my own mullet with a pair of hand scissors. Oh. Don't get it done by professionals on the day. Just saying. <laughs> How long have you had that mullet for? Over three years. Have you ever washed it? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Why is your beard ginger? Uh, Viking. <laughs> You're a Viking. All right, very much. All right, let's go around and applause for Hayden. So obviously another big highlight for me is because I had my car broken as I started filming events. Um, I've always had GoPros and that and put them in my car but I've never really done anything with it. Uh, 2020 has been the year of me going out to events strictly just to film events. Ooh, rods out, RB Commodore. No good. Rods. Wrapping Nats, Carnival, Port Road Drags, making them into sort of event vlogs, if that's what you'd call them, uh, and I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to keep up with that. There's heaps of events coming up um, in 2021 that I want to get to. As say, Muscat Madness, um, from Muscat Madness going to Foreign Rotor Nationals, and then there's the first auto parts 10k burnout comp. So hopefully, uh, very busy next three weeks, and uh, we'll keep making videos, and hopefully, Hopefully, fingers crossed, we fry and tires as well. Um, I guess that's about it, really. Uh, oh, actually, 2020, the year that I fucking got back into Speedway. younger, um, hung out with my mate Carl, helped him with his cars, all that kind of stuff. We well, started doing it again uh, and now 2021 will hopefully be the year I get a stock car so I'm gonna really uh, push to get a stock car over the next month or so, um, see what's out there. Don't want, I'd love to get a super but realistically can't afford it when you're trying to run you know I've already got Mayhem, I've got Nut Out and also Tough XB and they it, these cars all need work all the time, you have to, you know, so it's all money, so we're probably going to park a couple of them up in the garage for this year and uh, look at getting into a bit of speedway and uh, yeah, see how that goes. Uh, get a stock car to start with, if that turns out alright, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, maybe a super next year, See, just see what happens. I can't, can't sort of commit to anything, the missus has already said no, so we won't tell her, she doesn't watch these videos anyway. Um, yeah. All right, well, fucking see you on the next vid. Oh, actually, so also 
the YouTube channel got over a thousand subscribers last year, so we're pushing for that. They're slowly going up a bit more, which is cool. Um, I enjoy making the content, and hopefully we'll make some get some good content happening over the next 12 months. So yeah, peace.